Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how good Me Brawler is in the current meta. We're gonna be taking a look at the advantages and disadvantages of the character, some matchup charts. We're gonna be taking a look at the top reps of the character and all that good stuff. And let's just get right into it. But before we talk about anything, we have to pick which specials you should be using. Now, the only special that you absolutely need is Faint Jump Kick. That's gonna be the down B and it's essentially just Slip Jump, but a little bit worse. It makes your advantage state way better. It makes your disadvantage state way better. It just makes you as a character way better. So you definitely wanna take Flip Kick. For Up B, I would also highly recommend that you go with Thrust Uppercut because I think it is the best of the three. You also do have the option of Helicopter Kick because both are amazing kill confirm moves. Helicopter Kick is gonna be sending more off the side, whereas Thrust Uppercut is gonna be sending Sending more off the top and that's just going to give you more consistency and i overall just think it is better in general so i recommend that you take thrust uppercut for side b i think you should take the burning drop kick because it makes your disadvantage state a little bit better you're having a wider burst range as well now you have access to this move it's a really strong move as well you're going to be getting some kills with it you could do some ledge cancels with it as well you can get fairly tricky with it and it's just making your offstage better it's making your disadvantage better i already talked about this with the down b but the reason i didn't talk about recovery at all with the uppies is because when i'm taking a look at me brother uppies i don't really care how far they get me in distance i care what they get me in kill confirms because i know that my down b is going to get me back to stage i know my side b is going to be getting me back to stage the up b recovery is kind of the least priority of that move and then the final special that we got to talk about is the neutral special i would recommend that you pick the shot put because it is going to be setting at that really nice arcing angle so you can apply pressure off stage incredibly safely and if you hit someone with the shot put off stage they're probably just dead because if they clip their jump they're definitely dead because that thing sends you out so far like shot put is actually insanely strong it chumps shield as well and when you add shot put and the flaming kick you can break people's shield like insanely fast in this game me brawler has a lot of pressure that he can put on with his specials and i do think that the best special shot is going to be shot put for neutral special burning drop kick for side special you want thrust uppercut for up b and you want fate jump kick for down b now for me brawler's tilt i want you to imagine mario tilt and how they are the exact same in every single way because these guys literally have the exact same set of tilts it's the same f tilt it's the same down tilt it's the same up tilt some of the things are a little bit different like some of the frame data of it some of the sizes but generally you're going to be getting the same things from it like you would a mario move for example mario up tilt small hitbox if you hit it though you're able to combo off it same thing for me brawler if you hit the me brawler down tilt you're going to get some combo game off it the biggest difference in their tilt is going to be dash attack if you count that as a tilt and we are going to for now so dash attack is actually a really nice move it's going to be sending at a really nice angle it's frame six as well so it's a pretty fast move it's just a great burst option in general which is exactly what you want from a dash attack it isn't exceptionally strong but me brother is a character that doesn't need an exceptionally strong dash attack some characters rely on that for the kill move and me brother definitely does not now when it comes to his smash stacks i would say that his forward smash is the best one just because of how quick it is and how strong it is it's frame 17 and it hits like an absolute truck you can angle it up and down as well which is always nice you have up smash which is frame 8 so it's a decent out of shield option though of course you are going to have up e for out of shield and then finally you're gonna have down smash which is nothing special it's kind of just like your average lame down smash it hits on both sides it's fairly strong the hitbox on it isn't super big but it's nothing exceptional Next up, we got to talk about the aerials, and Me Brawler's best aerial is definitely his Nair. I mean, that move is ridiculous. It's just as fast as the air dodge. Both of them are going to come in at frame three. So any situation where you can air dodge out of a combo with Me Brawler, you can just Nair out of that combo as well. It's also going to be minus two on shield, which is pretty insane. It's a combo starter. It's a combo ender. It's also a kill confirmed. This move is just insanely good. It really does it all for you, and it's going to be kind of the main arrow that you're going to be throwing out. His forward air isn't good. I would say his forward is probably his worst move in the entire kit and that's maybe one of the specials i have to consider but from the specials that we have maybe jabs a little bit worse forward air it just doesn't get a lot of usage there's almost no situation where you shouldn't be going for back air because back air is not only faster but it's also stronger back air is faster by one frame for reference so i wouldn't really recommend using forward air that much back air it's pretty good it's kind of like a fox back air obviously not the same in frame data but the same in kind of the size of it it's using the same kill power as well it's just a strong back air which is nice for stealing the stock you're gonna have up air as well up air is obviously gonna be your main main combo tool because you can string it into itself you do have to fast fall really quick the uppers i'd say that me brawler's up air is probably the hardest up air in the game to chain into itself but it's also going to be chaining into upbeats also going to be chaining just into other aerials so it's a great kill for move it's a combo move it's just kind of that mario up air archetype and then finally you're going to have the downer which is a very strong downer by the way the hitbox on it is a little bit small but if you can hit this thing you're going to be stealing people's stocks at like 30 percent. it's an insanely strong dare but outside of that it's just a strong dare 
And the final thing that I got to talk about is going to be that down throw from Mean Bro. And the reason I say down throw is the other throws don't really matter. Forward throw, I will say, does have some usage because it does become a kill throw around like the 150%. So if you really are in a tough pickle and you cannot find yourself the kill, then I think forward throw is a fine throw. But down throw is what you're going to be doing probably 90% of the time because that throw is useful to like 120% as a combo throw because you have down throw into upbeat. Just down throw into upbeat itself and you get so much stuff that at the low percent you also have down throw to upbeat but you can do down throw into nair you could do down throw into literally any of your aerials except probably down there you can also have down throw set up towards the platform and me brawler has some of the best tech chasing in the entire game because he has a frame three nair that if you hit the sweet spot for it it's going to be killing and if you hit the sour spot for it it's going to keep them in the tech and then you could down tilt and then off that down tilt you can go into an upbeat that's just one very specific situation and me brawler has a lot of very specific situations where he just kills you off a grab you can also do down throw into footstool into upbeat for reference that kills donkey kong on the top platform of battlefield at 35 percent now i know it's a very specific combo but the fact that i can kill donkey kong off a grab at like 35 that is absolutely insane me brawlers down throw is just incredible it's a kill confirm for so long if you ever get this throw on a platform at like 50% or higher, the player is pretty much confirmed dead. It's just such an amazing kill confirm, and it's one of the reasons, the main reason, that Me Brawler is such a good character. But now we've sung the praises, we gotta talk about the bad parts of Me Brawler. The first one is obviously gonna be that he is hitting with his face, so disjoints are gonna give him a little bit of trouble. He's also gonna have the issue of, like, when I was talking about with Downby, a lot of his stuff, there are some very specific setups for, and if you don't know all those setups, you might have a little bit more struggle killing, but also, you don't need any of the crazy setups. It's kind of like Steve, there's some insane stuff you can do with that character, you don't really need any of it, because the basic kill confirms are good enough, and I think this applies to Me Brawler as well. You don't need to have any of the insane same footstool combos you don't need these nair resets on the platform into down tilt you could just do down throw into up b and you're probably going to be fine Another thing that Meat Brawler is susceptible to is going to be combo theory. As I mentioned earlier, he has a frame 3 air dodge. He does have other ways to escape combos in his frame 3 nair, as well as Thrupper being frame 3, which is always super nice. But if there is a combo that isn't super tight, let's say there's two frames of leeway, Me Brawler still cannot escape that because he doesn't have an option quick enough. His only option to escape those types of combos would be to jump, but jumping can be very risky when you're in a combo because if that jump ends up getting clipped, not only do you stay in the combo, but now when you're in disadvantage, you are without a jump, which is very scary. So there are some combos that work on me brawler that maybe wouldn't work on other characters because he doesn't have a super fast air dodge he doesn't have anything frame one or frame two to escape his fastest option to get out aside from jump is going to be frame three so that's a little bit of a disadvantage i also want to talk about if you get your down b clipped when you're trying to recover your recovery becomes a lot worse because thrupper it isn't known for his distance it doesn't go super far as a recovery yes it does everything else right it's a great out of shield option it's a great combo move it's a great combo ender it's everywhere else amazing but in the recovery aspect it's not going to be going super far kind of like like ZSS, once she gets her down B clipped, her recovery becomes a lot worse. And while you definitely still do have your side B, so it's not the end of the world, it can get into a really scary situation. So I would highly recommend that if you are trying to pick up Brawler, that you realize how important your down B is and ensure that you're not using it all willy-nilly because the second that you lose it, you could lose your stock as well. Now, depending on what brawler class that you're using, the stage choices are going to be a little bit different. But for the class that we're using, I recommend that you pick it basically just like a Mario stage pick. Is Mario good on Battlefield? Yes, absolutely. So is Brawler. Is Mario good on FD? Not really. Brawler? also not really good on FD. He gets so much off the platforms that the more platforms you can have on a stage and more time that you get to be under a platform, where you get to be on a platform, where you just get to use a platform in general, that is good for me, brawler. He's probably the best character in the game at utilizing platforms because once he's on the platform, sub 60%, he can kill you with an up tilt, with a down tilt, with an up air, with a nair, with a grab. He has a lot of ways to steal your stock very early. And when you're on a super flat stage, like FD, where you're not super close to the top, it's way harder to cheese people. Now, if you are using the helicopter kick, maybe that would be a bit of a better stage because you don't get as much off the platforms and you can kill people off the side really easily. But for the most part, I would recommend that you use platform stages for me, brother, because he just gets so much utilization off of them. Now we have the Me Brawler matchup chart, and this is for the set that I recommended. And each matchup chart, depending on which set you're using, is going to be a little bit different. But because I do believe that this is the strongest one, we're just going to be taking a look at this matchup chart, which was made by Esam, so his link will be down below. But as you can see, the general trend for characters that Brawler loses against are going to be characters with some disjoints. I mean, you have Cloud in there, you have Roy in there. This is even or losing, but we're just going to talk about it like it's losing. You have Roy, you have Aegis, you have Youngling, Mega Man, Greninja. Greninja is like the only character that doesn't have a super big disjoint aside from Forward Air, but the rest of these characters 
characters all have amazing day swords that are really good for keeping Brawler out. You also have Greninja being a character that has superior mobility of Brawler. And while superior mobility doesn't mean you necessarily beat Brawler, when it's good enough, like in Sonic's case, it can make the matchup really difficult. I think a character losing to Sonic isn't really that crazy of a take because every character in the game loses to Sonic. Maybe it's not slight like, to disadvantage, but I still do think it is a losing matchup. Regardless, you have Pikachu as well. I talked about combo theory earlier. Pikachu absolutely loves to abuse that. You also have a better projectile game. You're also your advantage state is going to be pretty good versus Brawler, and his advantage state is going to be non-existent versus you because he can't really get you in the air because you can just disengage with side B. He cannot juggle you. He can't go for super risky thrupper options, which he can do versus other characters, and Pikachu is also amazing at edge guarding Brawler offstage, even when he does have flip jump. Really easy for Pikachu to clip that with the back air, and after he clips that first flip jump, it's literally just over the stock is gone. So characters that can exploit Brawler really well offstage, I think Greninja falls in that tier as well because he has a really long lingering back air. I mean, Sonic has the best edge guarding in the game, and sword characters are going to be the characters that have the most success versus Brawler. And then in the winning tier, I mean, you could basically got Holy Cast. You got Fox in there, you got Rob in there, you got Kazi in there, you got Game Watch. As you can see, Brawler is a very good counterpick character, which we'll talk about a little bit more in the future. But in general, characters with swords or characters that can really bully him off stage are going to be the ones that have success. So this is the part of the video where I talk about the best Brawler reps in Smash Ultimate. And unfortunately, this character doesn't have a lot of success at the top level. I'd say the best reps for Brawler, at least solo mains, are players like Osh9, Fire the Pyro, Super Barrier, would probably be my pick to be the best Brawler in the world. But in use of a secondary, this character has a lot more success. You have Isem, you have Bloom, you have Riziasu, you have Kamehameha, you have Hikaru. All these players have used me Brawler at some point to great success. And that's because he's an amazing secondary character. As I talked about earlier, me Brawler is a character with a lot of very specific setups on very specific characters at specific percents on certain parts of the stage. But he's also a character that you can just go with your wide range 40% combos that work on the entire cast and your kill confirms that kill at like 60% that also work on the entire cast. You don't need any of this specific stuff. He is an amazing fun these characters. I mean, you look at Bloom Forever's me, he does not know a single crazy me brawler combo and he still absolutely destroys people. Not only is it because Bloom is better than people, but also because Brawler is a character that allows you to do that. His advantage state is so strong. He kills you so early. It's really easy to snowball with this character. So while he's not having a ton of success at the top level right now, from solo mains, I still think Brawler is a really useful secondary character, and I think that the solo mains of Brawler will start getting good results soon. So, how good do I think me Brawler actually is? I have this character in my top 20. I don't know if you could tell by watching the video, I think very highly of me Brawler. He has an amazing advantage state, amazing disadvantage state, amazing neutral, good stats, one of the best set of kill confirms in the game, and what I mean by that is he's like 30 moves that kill confirm into up B alone, and then he also has other ways that he can kill you. Like, he doesn't just need to use up B. It's actually so insane how many ways brawler can finish the stock how many ways he can just get on the damage he just has so many versatile combo routes that just makes him an overall amazing character i think he's extremely underutilized at the top level i'm hoping that's going to change soon but honestly i don't know when it's going to change we need some of these brawler mains to step up start grinding believe in yourself brawler mains because you guys can take this character to the top level guys and gals because this character is broken and i thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed sports been absolutely unreal lately be sure to sub all that yada yada if there's anything i got wrong or something that you feel needs to be added please just let me know down below and yeah that's all i gotta say and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye